Hello Fantasy Managers, today we've got the best cheap player picks for Euro Fantasy. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the best cheap plays in Euro Fantasy at the moment that you guys should definitely consider for the squads coming in to game week 1. In terms of pricing for these players, we are considering a cheap option to be £7 million or less for midfielders or forwards and less than £4.5 million for defenders. So just before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to show support for the channel and once again, share this video with your friends if you guys are enjoying this type of content. With that being said, let's get into the video. So taking a look at the first player on the list, it is Timo Puki. Puki is coming in at £7 million and looks to be great value up top for Finland. Puki has been in some great form recently for Finland as in the World Cup qualifiers in his two games, he got himself three goals, which did make him the third highest scoring player throughout the tournament. Over this period, he did register himself eight shots and was scoring fairly frequently with an average of 1.5 goals for every 90 minutes he played. Finland have a fairly decent group in which they face Denmark, Russia and Belgium, so I would be expecting Puki to be getting a fair few goals throughout the group stage. Timo Puki is also coming in with an 8% ownership as he is fairly low owned and could be a good differential striker. Also, throughout the EFL this season, Puki has been in very good form as he was the third highest goal scorer in the league with 26 goals and it was also accompanied by 4 assists. So I just think with Timo Puki's great form this season, and especially his good recent form, as well as his good group, low price and low ownership, I think he could be a decent striker up top. So now moving on to the second cheap option on the list, it is Gianni Alioski. Alioski is coming in at 4.5 million pounds and is a very good differential option at the back as he is only owned by 4% of managers. Alioski has been in great form recently for North Macedonia as throughout the World Cup qualifiers he played 3 games for 1 assist and 1 clean sheet and also made 5 key passes as he was creating quite a lot for them. It is key to know that Alioski is getting midfield time for North Macedonia, which does allow him to have that increased chance of those attacking returns, and he is making so many key passes, which does fill me with confidence that he can perform well throughout the group stage. Speaking of, North Macedonia have Austria, Ukraine and Netherlands in their group, which I would say is one of the best groups in terms of being able to score Euro Fantasy points, as just considering that Alioski is getting that midfield time, you would back him in to get some points over this period. Also, the best thing about playing as a midfielder, being listed as a defender, is that you do get to cash in on those clean sheet points as well, which maybe North Macedonia could pick up. So I just think Alioski at £4.5 million with a low 4% ownership could be a decent shout to have into the team for the first game week of the season because he is playing far up the pitch and he's getting very involved for his side. So now moving on to the third player on the list, it is Mason Mount. Mount is coming in at £7 million with a very high 31% ownership, which does make him the third highest owned midfielder in the game. He is only selected behind Loic Nago and Kevin De Bruyne because he has such good value at his £7 million price tag. Mason Mount has been in great form for Chelsea throughout this season and has been in decent touch for England recently as well. Throughout the World Cup qualifiers, in his three appearances, he got himself one goal and one assist with an average of 0.67 goals for every 90 minutes that he plays. Also throughout this tournament, he registered himself 6 shots, which is an average of 2 shots per game, which is a decent amount of chances that he is getting, considering that he is a midfielder. Also, his 3 appearances are one of the most for the England side throughout the tournament, which does fill me with confidence that he will be getting some good starting minutes throughout the Euros. It does appear that Gareth Southgate does prefer him as a starting option, so I just think for that reason he is great value to have in the team. This is especially considering England's fairly easy group in which they face Croatia, Scotland and the Czech Republic, which you would expect England to dominate. Obviously, if England perform well in this group, it will mean that Mason Matt is getting those attacking returns, and he has been so impressive for Chelsea throughout the season, getting himself 6 goals and 5 assists, so I'm sure he will be keen to continue this form into the Euros group stage. So overall for his low price, his great form throughout the season, and England's very promising group, I think Mason Matt is one of the best cheap options to have in the squad coming into Euro Fantasy. Now moving on to the fourth player on the list, it is Loic Nago. Loic Nago is coming in at £4 million and has a very high 46% ownership as he's the most selected player in Euro Fantasy. He's been selected above the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, Ruben Diaz, Harry Kane or Romelu Lukaku because he has such great value in the middle of the park as he is starting in this hungry side. Throughout the World Cup qualifiers, he played 3 games for 1 goal and at £4 million, obviously this is great value. 
The good thing about Nago is that he is sitting at the minimum price, which does allow funds to be spread elsewhere around the squad, and if you can get a player for this cheap that does start and offer some goal threat, then there is definitely no way he's not going in the squad. Also, in terms of goals per 90 minutes, he is scoring 1.2 goals every single 90 minutes, which is very high, especially for someone at his price. Obviously, he has only taken one shot, but if he is getting any sort of attacking returns, then that is good to see. Obviously, Hungary have a fairly difficult group in which they face Portugal, France, and Germany, so you would be expecting Hungary to get knocked out throughout the group stage. But I think for the immediate future, Nago could be a great option to have in the squad as he will allow funds to be spent elsewhere. Also at this price range, it is very rare to find anyone else that starts, so I think that he is probably the best cheap option in the game. So now moving on to the fifth and final cheap option on the list, it is Federico Chiesa. He is coming in at 7 million pounds and has a fairly high ownership at 18%, which does actually make him the seventh highest owned midfielder in Euro Fantasy. Only Loic Nago, Kevin De Bruyne, Mason Mount, N'Golo Kante, Kimmich, and Bruno Fernandes have been selected more frequently than Chiesa, and this is partly because Chiesa has been great for Juventus throughout this season. In 45 club appearances, he has recorded a very impressive 15 goals and 11 assists, recording a very high tally of 56 shots. Also, for every attacking return that he gets, it is around 130 minutes, so he is scoring fairly frequently. This kind of form is exactly what you want for a Euro Fantasy asset, as it does prompt the Italy national team to start him frequently. Also at 7 million pounds, he does contend Mason Mount for that best cheap range midfielder in the game. Also, Italy have a decent group in which they face Turkey, Switzerland and Wales, which you would expect them to dominate, and if Chiesa can get some starting minutes, then he would no doubt be getting the goals. Even when he didn't start in the World Cup qualifiers, he was getting subbed on in nearly every game, so he is getting some fairly good minutes for Italy. Obviously, throughout this tournament, Italy were rotating their squad a fair bit, so it will be interesting to see whether he can get starting minutes, but if he can get into that Italy starting lineup, then he will no doubt be one of the best options in Euro Fantasy. So overall, with his great domestic form, a fairly good group, and a pretty low price, it does make Chiesa a very good option to have throughout the group stage. So that's what I've got for today for the best cheap player picks of Euro Fantasy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to show support for the channel. And once again, share this video with your friends if you guys are enjoying this type of content. Also, leave a comment of what you thought of these player picks and leave a play in the comments that you would like to see in the squad that is a cheap option. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.